everybody, or one person, whoever's tuned in. Uh, thank you for taking a minute to uh, check out our Facebook Live about how the programming is going to go following 17.5 <clears throat> and the conclusion of the CrossFit Games Open. Um, the reason we're changing the programming uh, is because we've gotten into a trend here that we're, we're following a good program that's good for, you know, a general populace looking for GPP, general physical preparedness, like what CrossFit offers, but it's not catered towards the particular needs, skills, and development that the athletes we have here at Alpine. So that's why we want to switch it up a little bit. Um, when it comes to the programming, first I'd like to say thank you guys for answering our survey monkey that we sent out last week. We got like 60 responses. Not only did you all answer the questions, but you gave us amazing feedback in the comments section, and that's kind of what we're going to highlight first. Um, we asked you guys what your favorite parts of our training thus far were, and those were strength pieces and Metcons. No surprise there, you're CrossFitters who like to lift heavy stuff. Um, when we asked you what you would like more of, it was quite varied, very equal across fields, but what we basically got from that and the comments section was you want skill development, and that could be gymnastic skills, that could be uh, double unders and monostructural skills, that could be weightlifting skills. Uh, skill development doesn't really stop necessarily at, you know, the stuff that you guys have done thus far. It could be new stuff, it could be old stuff. And what our big focus is going to be now is that we have enough time in classes to make sure that everybody gets their own variation of skill development and you are way more aware of an athlete of how to develop that. Uh, and the other piece was strength development. And it's really important for me and for the coaches here to help you understand how strength is developed and how we can get you to peak your strength that you're looking for without battering you with it. Uh, you know, we can't make you stronger to deadlift by making you deadlift every day. So there's definitely a method to the madness, and we want to make you guys a little bit more informed on that. So <clears throat> next piece that we're going to go over is just uh, what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how the program is going to work and – uh, how a block is going to be programmed out, and the different categorization of the days of training that you will have. Um, basic understanding of these, uh, not only on here, but we'll also send out a uh, little bullet point detail for anybody who is curious as to a little bit more behind the lecture. We'll send that to you right away. Understanding those key points is going to make you very aware of when you walk into the gym, what we're expecting, and what you can expect from us to be teaching you throughout different cycles. So each block that I program, or that we're going to program as a, as a group, is going to be about 12 weeks long. There are some blocks that we might extend into 16 weeks, and there are some blocks we might even bring it down to closer to eight. The big thing that um, you have to remember is that it does take a good amount of time to develop strength. Strength is one of those things that you have to be patient with, and if you overdo it too quickly, you could face yourself with a chronic injury or a really catastrophic injury, and we want to avoid that at all costs. When it comes to skill development, we can give you a little bit more there simply because uh, it's not overly weighted, and it's also really focused on the quality of the movement over the quantity of the weight or the uh, intensity of the skill itself. So testers for each block. Every time we start a training cycle, we will give you some form of what we call a tester. And it's really easy to identify these testers. They are a uh, max out. They could be a benchmark wad that you've done several times, like Fran or Cindy. It could be anything that we can find a very precise and measurable end to and retest it down the road after we've given you some development directed towards the skills, lifts, and strength that you would need in that workout. So when you see a workout like that, especially when we do these uh, Facebook live chats about a new, a new cycle, you'll be able to pick up on which testers we're going to be doing and understand why we're doing them. Um, training categories. Now, this is my favorite part because it's going to give – athletes a really uh, comprehensive understanding of what your focus needs to be in the gym. 